Hey everybody, it's Buddha Hamster. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. If you haven't seen the first episode, you should watch that first. Um, so right here we have something I didn't explain in the last episode. This is our pause menu. From here you can look at your items. We have one potion currently. This is our stock. When we get a bunch of items that aren't going to be in here, they'll go to our stock. So, yeah, you can equip items to, like, right here, let's see, I can send my potion to the stock and it's there. Doesn't take up any room or anything, but let's keep that on sword just in case. Um, equipment, right now we have a wooden sword. Can't do anything about that. Um, accessories, right here. We don't have any at the moment, but they, they're very helpful. They can boost your HP, MP, AP, strength, or defense. Uh, so we'll get some of those later. Um, abilities, like I was saying, saying earlier, I don't have any abilities at the moment, but when we do get them, they'll be in this little place here. You can equip them with AP, action points, maybe ability points, maybe, uh, I don't know, probably ability points, but you know. So, uh, right here, shared abilities. We'll get to that later. Uh, Sora's abilities, also get to that later. Customize, right here. Um, you can assign us like here on the customize menu you can assign a spell or an item or no just spells in this one uh, you can once you learn some magic you can assign a spell to the triangle square and X button which you can quickly access to by in battle or outside of battle hold L1 small menu comes up press triangle square or X and you'll use that spell right here status this is a important menu but I don't ever look at it except to know when I'm gonna level up uh, it tells you your max HP, max MP, your max AP, how much you have left of each, tells you your strength stat, defense stat, what level you are, how much experience you have, and how much experience till you get to the next level. Next screen, you have your weapons and accessories, and then you have your uh, items. So, that's a fun little menu. Uh, right here, configuration, basic settings, nothing really to change. I'm playing on normal. Because, yeah, I um, actually played through this game a few days ago with uh, well, on expert mode. And the beginning of that made me realize why I don't play on expert mode. God, I died 134 times and the majority of that was in the first maybe five worlds. Yeah, I did bad. But after I got to a decent level... Uh, it was it was fun. It was still fun, difficult but fun. But I decided I'd just go for through a normal let's play, may not have myself die as much, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's all of that. So let's go talk to Kyrie over here. So can you gather the rest of the prize? Uh, what? 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 <laughs> Can't build a raft without materials. So here's what we need: we need two logs, one cloth, one rope, and that's it for now. All right. Let's go on an adventure. Look for some logs. Here's a log. The log Riku threw at us earlier. Hey, Waka. Let's go talk to Waka. Hey, what's happening, man? What's up? Uh, yo, you up for a round? Sure, let's play. <laughs> Get it? Let's play because we're let's playing log. King Hearts. Uh, right here. We're battling Waka. This is actually really good for experience in the beginning. If you can go up and attack him, but you can also stay back and just hit his blitz ball right back at him. And each time you do that, it gives you an experience point. Very useful. So right here, we should level up after this next hit, since we needed five experience. Yep, there we go. Our defense has increased. Spike the ball! Yeah! What now? Bring it, Waka. Ah! Alright, so, um... Yeah, like I said... Good way to grind for experience here in the beginning if you want to do that. Oh, I missed the ball. And there's Waka. One experience for defeating him, but like 20 for just shooting the voice ball back at him. Alright, so um, right here we have Selfie. Ah, uh, the breeze feels great. You look like a monkey. <laughs> want a duel? Yeah, you never see us because we're building a raft to leave. We're kind of running away. Okay, don't hold you know. back. Um, she's okay for experience, I guess. Like, there are a few points where you can get some technical experience, like right here, if you just hit her while she's running at you while uh, twirling the thing. 
Or if she does that, you can get two by hitting it and then she hits herself in the head. But uh, she's pretty easy to fight, so I'm just gonna get rid of her really quick. If she will stop running around. Just fuck you, selfie. No, stop it! There we go. No. There you go. Now you're dead. As you can see up there in the background, there's Tidus swinging him stick. So let's go talk to him. Uh, I decided, I know I didn't in the last episode, other than the opening cutscene, but I'm gonna stay quiet through, or at least I'm gonna try to stay quiet through cutscenes to keep up the, so you can listen to the story, because Kingdom Hearts is one of the best stories in the game I've, like, I, I'm in love with this series, like, other than Sonic, which is my first game series, so I kind of have to love it, uh, other than that, this is probably my favorite game series in existence. Yep. So uh, right there, you can get two experience, two technical experience right there for just blocking. But I don't really know what attacks you get the experience for blocking because if you just wait for him to attack and block it, then it doesn't give you experience. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. But let's just get rid of him really quick or get hit. That works too. Boom! Boom! boom. And there we go. Uh, he just gives you two experience rather than the one experience you get for the other people for beating him. Uh, so that's good to know. Uh, you might have seen this earlier, but there's a rope right here. Coincidentally, we needed a rope for the raft. So yeah, let's uh... Hey look, a tree house. Let's go in the tree house. I like your tree house. Fun fact, um... My cousin used to have a tree house. Well, I, I don't actually know if it was his, it was just around his house and we went to it sometimes. But, you know, sometimes. And right there was that cloth we needed, so all we need now is one log. Um, yeah, because of Sora's ridiculous feet, I'm assuming they act like Dumbo's ears, and they will just let you fly. By that I mean you won't get any fall damage, ever, from anything. Uh, in here we have a shack with a save point, but we don't need a save right now because it's we're barely into this episode. So let's go out of the shack. Smack. Hey, Riku. Let's go talk to Riku. Hey, a log. <laughs> we needed a log. Riku. Did you get everything for the raft? Okay, you. Uh, wow. Okay, then. Uh, sure. Let's go around. Alright, so Riku, the strongest person on Destiny Island. He will mess you up. He will. Yeah. So, um, there's a little strategy here. Every four hits, he'll go down on the ground and do that kick thing, which is devastating. So, what I like to do, I like to combo him. Uh, dodge for a little bit. Um, come on, you can put your sword down anytime now. All right, hit him, let him go down, dodge, combo. And just keep doing this for a little while. He has a bunch of health, as expected from the strongest guy on Destiny Island. Ah. Oh, that was close. Run! All right, combo you. Three hit combo right there. Hit, dodge, nope. Combo, dodge, hit, dodge, combo. So yeah, that's all you have to do for Riku. It's uh, it's pretty easy if you know the pattern, but if you don't, then he will. He, he is just a hard opponent to fight. Oh no! I don't know if that was close. I I got distracted and started. I got distracted with commentary and lost my pattern. And there we go. We beat him, and we get a whopping five experience. That just sounds weird. Five doesn't have any numbers, but for Destiny Island, that's pretty good. And for every time you beat Riku, you get a potion. But um, let's go talk to Kyrie, give her our stuff. And she seems to be our little manager for this escapade. Thanks, Sora, I found something today. Here, it's yours. A high potion. Alright, so now there's tiered items. There's the base, for example, potion. Then there's the high, high potion. Then there's mega, mega potion. Potion, good, solo, use. Uh, you can only use it on one person. High potion, also only for one person, Could be. but it restores more 
than uh, a normal potion. A mega potion Who knows? can be used on multiple people. If we have to. And yes, I just spoiled else. that there will be multiple so people in your party. You get to another world. Oops! <laughs> but here's a cutscene, so I'll stay quiet for a second. Hmm. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. Who needs to think about stuff? It's just, I've Go head on. Wondered why Blood we're right here on this island. If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Kyrie, thanks. So Kyrie's not native to Destiny Islands like Sora and Riku are. She came here from another place. Sora. Wonder where. A star-shaped fruit. You wanted one, didn't you? A palpu. A palpu fruit. If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. Wow, chicken, wow, wow. They remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Sounds like fun. Come on, I know you want to try it. I'm up for it. Let's do this. <laughs> Kyrie, where are you? Or you could throw it into the ocean. You know, mystical fruit. No big deal. Alright, so now we're running after Kyrie. Going to our boats. Our homes, places where they live, are not on the island that we are on. This is just kind of a hangout spot that we boat ourselves to. Hey, what is this? A castle. A very blue castle, and those flags are not moving in the slightest. Swirly! Alright, I was supposed to stay quiet. Yeah, we'll see how good that staying quiet during cutscene thing goes. That is a big door. Hey, Mickey. Pop, pop. <laughs> That's awesome, a little small door and a big door. Look at Donald and his little waddling. Makes sense because he's a duck, but you know. Hey, where are you? Your Majesty. Pluto! You're not a planet anymore. <laughs> You're a dwarf planet. I think it prefers a little planet. <laughs> little planet, like in Sonic 4, Episode 2. Or Sonic CD, you know. But who knows about Sonic CD? Just arrange myself on this bed here. Ugh. Ooh, my computer. Goofy! He's in some nice little armor stuff. Donald, you look like a magician. And just keep snoring away. Whoa! I want to do that. That'd be awesome. I like how it doesn't hurt Goofy at all. It's kind of like, oh, got struck by lightning. Oh well. Daisy. What do you not understand about don't tell anybody? <laughs> oh, good morning, ladies. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Looks like you're in trouble, Donald. <laughs> I like the music there. Disney Castle. Ah, Destiny Island. It's a new day. And we jump up onto this platform. And you ready for adventure? Well, sucks for you. Because that's going to happen in the next episode. So, rate, comment, subscribe. Do what you want.
have fun. Hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Check out Budameds' other Let's Plays. Um, if Meds hasn't mentioned it himself, his Let's Plays will be updated more often than this three-day schedule that we're on now. This three-day rotation where it's uh, our the Buddha Meds Let's Play, then Buddha Hamster, then Meds. I mean, then Meds, then Buddha Hamster, because I'm the last in the rotation. Um, but he will be updating daily his Let's Play. Same Let's Play, but he'll be updating daily, which means he'll get pretty far ahead. So, if you want your meds fixed, go to meds98194. If you want your boot hamster fixed, well, you'll just have to wait because I don't feel like doing that. Um, if you want your boot meds fixed, there's plenty of Let's Plays for you to watch. Very fun, except for the first one. I would not recommend the first one. But, as you probably know by now, we're remaking that Let's, that let's Play. We are redoing Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which you should check out the redo, not the original. Because bad, 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 bad hardware back then. Didn't work out. But I've been carrying this on long enough, so I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.